So you think all the victims were cartel members? Not in the loop enough to know. Listen, uh, take a ride to the street here, right? Right? But uh, going to the chicken farm, it's straight ahead. No, I'll take a little detour. All right. Yeah, there's this uh, industrial laundry I want to check out. It's not far. Just, yeah, turn right here. What, uh, what, what laundry? What about it? It's owned by this company. It's uh, Madrigal Electromotive. It's this big German conglomerate right into everything. It turns out it's the same company that owns uh, Fring's chicken joints. Sounds like a real shot in the dark there. I mean, you said it yourself. I mean, if this Madrigal, is it? If this is such a big conglomerate, then I mean, they must own all kinds of businesses. No, it just, it just sounds kind of thin. Well, look at you. What, you lose your hair, you go on a couple steakhouts, so you what, your Kojak? <laughs> just saying. <clears throat> Now, the, the chicken farm, however, boy, that place seems ripe for some kind of uh, clandestine activities. I just, I just don't want us to miss anything, you know? You gonna talk about clandestine activities? Matterroll Electromotive also owns a subsidiary that manufactures this uh, state-of-the-art air filtration system. And none other than Gail Bedecker took delivery of one of these systems. Yeah, a chemist who was in possession of hand-drawn plans for a meth super lab and was visited by none other than Gus Fring just days before he was capped in the face, okay? <laughs> Shit, starting to feel like a, like three days with a condor, you know? Anyway, an industrial laundry would be a, one hell of a place to hide a, hide a meth lab. You know? There it is right up there, just, just turn in there. Well, slow down. Sl you gotta turn in there, won't well, what? What are you doing? You just missed it. So, sorry, it, it looked like a dirt road. I, I thought you meant further up. <sighs> just, just bang a Yui over here. <laughs> 